What's up, family? Jared the Boss Man here. You're tuned into the Boss Man Show on AM 1010, AM 1430, 1055 The King. Get the King out at 105theking.com and the Boss Man Show at bossmanshow.com. Hit me up on Instagram, the Boss Man Show, Twitter at Boss Man Show, and Facebook, Boss Man Show. It's the Boss Man on your radio. Listen to the Boss Man Show with your host, JR, Saturdays at 9 a.m. right here on AM 1010, The King. What's up, good people? Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. The latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wages, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use your promo code BLEAV, B-L-E-A-V, for your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online when the game starts. Special going to the Big 12 of West Virginia, Morgantown, Virginia, where our own Pac Man Joe School at and play football. There it's Josh out here with me on the Boss Man Show. Coach, how you doing, man? I'm doing great. Doing great. I mean, uh, things are coming together. It's been it's been a long road, but it's happening fast, and I'm excited. And coach, for you, man, who grinded all these years, man. Have different various roles on staffs, man. To finally become a head coach, man. I think you feel after all the hard work that you put in all all those years, man. Yeah, I mean, I've been I've I've sat in about every chair in this office. I tell you that, and 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 about every role here at West Virginia University. And I tell a lot of people, you know, the 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 support I've had here from day one has just been incredible. And to be able to work with a Hall of Fame coach all those years and do every single role and every single responsibility has really gave me a lot of confidence to take on the challenge that the you know you know has been put in, in front of me, and I'm excited to take it on. I hear that, Coach. Yes, uh, Coach Allen. At what point in your basketball journey did you decide you wanted to hop in the coaching and, and start at the bottom and work your way all the way up to the top as you are right now? I'll tell you when. I mean, I knew. I knew when I got out of my, I graduated no four from Kansas State with a finance and, and marketing degree, and and I went right to sitting behind a desk, uh, you know, handing out loans and and analyzing people's credit, and and every two or three o'clock in the afternoon, I got that itch, man. I I, I love the game of basketball. I was like, what am I doing with my life? So I I, I said, that's it. I got to figure this out now. I'm young. I got to figure it out now and and, and pursue my passion. And that was basketball. So I went back uh, with my head coach at the time, Jim Woolridge, and he gave me the opportunity and gave me the foot in the door as a GA. And I started as a GA with him. Uh, that was unfortunately at the end of his uh, coaching career at K-State, and Coach uh, Coach Huggins came in, and, and uh, we hit it off from the beginning, and we were there together at K-State for one year, and then we he turned and took the job here at his alma mater, and I followed him in June of 07. I've been here ever since. Yes, indeed. And, and, you know, talk about, you know, working for a Hall of Fame coach every day, see how, how he moves, how he does things, and how that experience is so invaluable to be around somebody like him. You know, I'm friends with a friend of Coach Huggins, Randy Peels, right, who's somebody a mentor of mine, Coach Peels. So about being around somebody like Coach Huggins who taught you the way so you can leave this job to you, that you can do the job. You've been around the best to do it. Yeah, he's he, – he's... In terms of a defensive mind, the hugs is, is second to none, you know, and, and he he was attention to detail on, on that regard. And that's something I'll always take with me, uh, his defensive presence and the way he handled uh, 
you know, really getting after people. I don't know if I can coach uh, defense as well as him, but I've been with him 17 years. So a lot of those principles on defense is going to carry with me. And the assistant coaches that I have, uh, you know, all of them have played for Coach Huggins and have been a part of his his journey. So they understand what we expect. And, uh, you know, we're going to try to carry on that, that defensive philosophy, whether we, you know, have the right personnel to really, really get up in people. Uh, we're, it's to be determined. But uh, we're excited to kind of, you know, take the reins and, and take the bull by the horn, so to speak, and, and get going. You know, I'm, I'm itching every day trying to get a full roster in here and, and, and seal that up so we can move forward. Coach Howard, how has workouts been this summer for you guys, man? And who are some guys who really improved during your four hours a week of working out together as a team? And this year probably is not much install because you most of the guys you could have for the most part. But how has it been, man? Since who who's some guys who really, really pop doing workouts this summer? Well, you know, the summer was really hard because it was like a revolving door. They, all those players got all that leverage in terms of they had 30 days immediate transfer. Uh, so I knew there was four or five guys that weren't going anywhere and, you know, they, they locked in from day one, but a lot of them were teetering, you know, they had, they had a lot of leverage and in this day and age and with NIL, they could, they could jump ship and go figure out what their value is. And, and I don't blame them for that. It's just the, the new age of college athletics. Uh, but we got some really strong pieces and we're really excited about the, the guys we brought in now, you know, they got to come together and we got to build some chemistry early and figure out each other and how we play off each other. But, uh, you know, that's why I'm so eager to get started and, and get going. 100%. And, Coach, with that being said, would you – are you going to focus more on team stuff more than you would during this period between now and November and you would because you have some new guys at the jail kind of fast. So, will you probably do more team-related things more than just individual skill work as you get ready towards November? Yeah, that's that's 100% been my strategy here in the fall. You know, uh, summer has been more – you know, we never really had 10 guys at any any given time. So this fall has been the first time we've had more than 10. And, and uh, you know, as soon as you get 11, somebody sprains an ankle or something, you're back to 10 or 9. So anytime I can get more than 10 on the floor at any given time, we're going. We're going as a team, and we're trying to figure this out early. Uh, I'm not trying to do too much individual work. Uh, you know, I, I put a lot of emphasis on them guys taking care of their business and acting like professionals and, and doing that on their own so we can just uh, get going and build that chemistry. And hey coach, I was, for the listeners out here in Atlanta who uh, love basketball, love West Virginia, who give a great base here as well. Talk about the pillars of your program, what they're going to be, and the type of young man you really want to become a, a future Mount near for this, this, this interview out here. Well, I've been talking about it my staff from day one. It's like let's bring in the right type of guys. That's uh, you know, uh, chemistry is huge, and and, and people. Have, I want guys who want to love the game and want to excited to walk across those lines and compete. Um, you know, I want competitors, but I want good people. I want, I want good teammates. And, and uh, so character and integrity and, and accountability and all those things are, are huge to me. So when we're looking at guys, uh, this first thing you ask, what kind of type of person he is? Because I don't want to bring the wrong guy in here to disrupt the culture because we really have a, a lot of good guys that get, uh, get, get along well. And uh, one bad apple can, uh, can, can turn the whole bushel uh, of apples. So, uh, that's first and foremost in terms of the way I see things. Let's keep that locker room locked in and locked in together. And we'll fight as brothers when we when we cross those lines. And coach, you said something so profound to me. You know, I, you know, I, when I played coach, the best teams I had were the teams where we as the players led. You didn't coach us for energy and effort. When the guys are accountable for their win sprints, getting extra to work in, with, at, hitting up a GA, hitting up a coach, to work out because I feel like those teams who do the work without being pushed and prodded are the best team that we I played for. And I know you probably have coached with. Yeah, I'm sitting here, sitting here in my office. It's their day off. It's they're required to have a certain number of days off in the fall, and I hear balls bouncing. They're out there working, and that's the type of culture we're putting together. And and I tell them all the time, this is your team, guys. This is your team. It's about you guys. How you guys are going to kind of come together and take ownership in it. And uh, I think, you know, from a leadership standpoint, I don't know who's going to take that role, but locked in, uh, they certainly are. They're locked in. They're, they're wanting to put that work in and, 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 and get this season started. And I think they're all buying it at this point. You know, we haven't got too crazy heavy on them yet and really pushed on them, but we, we will. We're going to get there. And, hey Coach, talk about where you're at, man, with West Virginia, that, that national brand, how 
when guys here in West Virginia, they, they know what it's about, the tradition of it, that we make the phone call, got excited to come up to Morgantown and play for you all, and the environment of Morgantown and how the fans up there really support Mount near anything across the whole state of West Virginia. Until you spend time in, in West Virginia or go to a game, whether it be a football game, basketball game, whatever it may be, people don't understand. This is 1.8 million people that absolutely love Mountaineer sports. They ain't got no pro teams here. Uh, you know, we, we're not competing uh, with pro teams. We got Mountaineer football, Mountaineer basketball, Mountaineer sports in general. So these guys, when they come in here, they, they realize – their priority, their, their profile, their high profile dudes from the beginning because everybody knows who they are. They are the heroes of the state. And that carries a lot of responsibility. I tell them every day, it carries a lot of responsibility because, you know, people are, people are counting on them to, to, to represent West Virginia. And West Virginians have a chip, chip on their shoulder. And that's the way we want to play. And coach, I'll talk about the, having that West Virginia degree and the, with the state being loving the Mountaineers so much. And that, they have also internships, networking and availabilities. So we all done the ball. We end up bouncing stop on sports all one day. But having that great degree from West Virginia, having the state behind you, people who will help push you, but it's about being a mountaineer. Talk about that aspect of it as well, Coach. Oh, those connections are huge, whether it be donor connections. The people, uh, you know, it's, it's more of a family than anywhere I've ever been. Because if you play for West Virginia and you're, you're, you're part of West Virginia University, and they all come back. They come back strong. Homecomings are huge here. Guys want to come back. They gravitate in the falls to, to the football game. They gravitate uh, in the winters to the basketball games. Uh, so people take care of their own here more than I've ever seen anywhere else. They, they really take care of their own. It's a beautiful thing to see. Yes, indeed. And, Coach, for the for listeners in Atlanta who more ACC people, talk about the environment in Coliseum, man, when you all play on St. man, the how to – Crazy the fans are. It's like really get a feel for that how high it is up there, man. Uh, it's 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 hard to explain, man. When you see uh you know fourteen thousand strong and, and you go up to that uh, top seat in the Coliseum, you look down and and you reflect on on that guy sitting there at the top of that Coliseum and how locked in he is on some of those games and it's packed to the roof. It's that energy is to a whole new level and and we feed off that as coaches as players and. And it, it's a beautiful thing. And it's you, you explain it to, to recruits, but they have no idea until they come in here and experience uh, West Virginia basketball and that passion the fan base has here. It's 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 a beautiful thing. I got two more for you, Coach. I want to bit how cool is it to see a former alum of West Virginia, Joe Mazzula, lead the Boston Celtics, what he did in his first year there, man, and leading. And how you all lean on each other, man, as you obviously have been the head coach now to see what he did last year in Boston. It's been great. I mean, Joe was here the first few years that we were here at West Virginia. He was our point guard, uh, led us to the Final Four, led us to a Big East championship. But uh, that's just another testament to how we treat our alumni and our, and, our, and our people that gave everything for this program. You know, Joe comes back every summer. Uh, he spends two a couple of weeks. He just left here. He, he spent a week or so here in the, in the program, spent time working out uh, in our facilities, spoke to the football team. So he has that connection with us and, and uh, having him as a, a source for me because he's went through not exactly what I've went through, but a similar situation. So there's a handful of people I can lean on. Joe Missoula has always been one, you know, so he's kind of went through the situation that I'm going through and, and having him to, to be there and, and, you know, bounce ideas off of it's, it's been, uh, it's been uh, great for me. That's one for you, Coach. I'll talk about the Big 12, man, and how you all about to get even a bit better basketball conference you know, in, the, in the next few years, man. But talk about the grind and the how this from top to bottom, you just know he's not in the Big 12 basketball wise. How far it's about to even get next year and beyond. It's wild. I mean, not you you look back, you worried that the Big 12 is gonna fall apart. Now, I mean, we're as strong as any league in the in the country, especially in basketball. So, um, you know, there's going to be new venues, new new challenges for everybody in this league. So, you know, not only the four teams coming in, you know, the, the rest of us are trying to figure out, uh, you know, how we navigate the new league. So everybody's kind of got a clean slate and it's going to be fun. It's going to be it's going to be fun to take on these new challenges and and invite these new members in and, and start our own traditions and and build up new traditions. So uh, we're excited about it. I mean, Big 12 is going places and. It's a great conference to compete in night in, night out, whether it be football or basketball.
So uh, we're, we're sitting pretty with uh, where we're at with the Big 12, and we're excited about that. Well, Coach, man, it's fun to get you having the show, man. I hope you do a great job this year. Hope you keep that job, man, long term, man. I'm, I'll be cheering for you, Coach. And I'll follow best luck to you, man. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me on. Uh, I appreciate it. It was fun, man. Yeah, man. Take care. What's up, good people? Bet online is your number one source for all your betting needs. The latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Better Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wages, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use your promo code BELIEVE, B-L-E-A-V, for your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet Online. Well, the game starts. What's up, family? Jared, the Boss Man here. You're tuned into the Boss Man Show on AM 1010, AM 1430, 1055 The King. Get the King out at 105theking.com and the Boss Man Show at bossmanshow.com. Hit me up on Instagram, the Boss Man Show, Twitter at Boss Man Show, and Facebook, Boss Man Show. It's the Boss Man on your Radio. Listen to the Boss Man Show with your host, JR, Saturdays at 9 a.m. right here on AM 1010, The King.